afternoon Viva MK sorry for being slightly late I was just having a few challenges like I do I think every day seems to be a challenge of one sort or another I was just having a few challenges there so thank you for joining me of course live on Facebook either now or later whenever you do watch this um, live presentation uh, really it's a business update that I like to do every single week if this is the first time you're joining us um, just to tell you what's going on in the business and any other shenanigans I can possibly talk about today I really want to talk about remember why you started because that's very important people keep asking that I'm also going to give you a first reveal a first reveal on July the 4th, for God's sakes, of what the Christmas catalogue will look like. And as you well and truly know, that the biggest boost in retail, in any kind of retail, um, is always in the last four months of the year when it's the Christmas season. And of course, in our kind of business, um, especially in our kind of business, the boost that we get from Christmas retail is absolutely phenomenal. For those of you that have been in Clean Easy or Better Wear before, you know exactly what I'm talking about, that the last four months of the year are absolutely incredible. And in some cases, the business can increase from anywhere from 30% upwards based on the rest of the year. So, before we get on to that, I said to you I'd also recognise some of our top retailers in the business. And personal retail um, is, of course, fantastic in Viva MK. But in June alone, we had quite a number of people hitting uh, phenomenal levels of their own personal retail. And I know I published a top 30 the other day, but today I'm really going to talk about the top 10 that I did them, have done the most retail during the month of June. So with our range and our limited brand recognition, we still have people doing personal retail to phenomenal amounts. I won't keep saying the word phenomenal. I think I've already used it about five times, so I'll try and think of a new word in a second. Sensational results. So at 10 for the month of June, we have Cynthia Millard, who did very close in on 1,500 pounds of personal retail. Sharon and Craig Davis, um, number nine, Steve Vickery, Yvonne Meisel, number one, um, number one in the organization, as we know, the first person to ever join Viva MK. Alison Beal and Jeff Alt. And then we have Satsugu and Shell Robson, of course, closing in on the 2000 mark. Then the top three all did in excess of £2,000 of personal retail. Remember, this is personal. It's not team sales. This is just personal retail, as the sensational word suggests. So at number three, we have Janet Lyle and Steve Reese, um, who are in excess of £2,000. Now, of course, Janet Lyle does demonstrations. Um, not demonstrations, demonstrating products. I mean, well, you may do demonstrations, but demonstrating products and very, very successfully. And you'll be able to see Janet talking about that live on a webinar on the 10th of July. That's if Lynn has got the date right. 10th of July at 9 p.m. on a live webinar. It's really worth tuning in. Of course, Lynn will put the link on, on, on this feed, but Janet will show you not only how she demonstrates, sorry, demonstrates products I'm sure she will show you how she also demonstrates or whatever she demonstrates but demonstrates products and gets phenomenal no, sensational sales from doing so so in excess of two thousand pounds personal retail that doesn't count the team retail just in the month of June so 10 uh, 9 p.m 10th of July live webinar um, then in second place, we have Ian and Margaret Foster from Northern Ireland, again, in excess of £2,000 personal retail. You know, please don't forget, for those of you who are tuning in for the first time or don't know much about this business, you know, we've only been in operation just over a year. So personal retail in just over a year with our 1,200 or so products is very good going, considering we don't really have serious brand recognition yet but we will do very soon then of course in number one position with a staggering three thousand three hundred and twenty six pounds and sixty one pence 
Ali Lloyd and Jeff Locke. And that was in the month of June. Again, perfectly personal retail. Not team, not group, just personal retail. And that, I have to say, is the largest personal retail we have had in Viva MK from the day we started. So congratulations on that, that after a year, um, you are still getting phenomenal um, results. Ali and Jeff, you know, after a year, to get 3,300 and hit the peak of our personal retail is absolutely brilliant. So really appreciate that. And of course, you know, listen to the webinar on the 10th of July and you'll see how Janet does her personal retail. Um, but congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to anybody that sold anything. You know, it. I, I know we talk about people who did over a thousand and there was over 30 of those people that did personal sales of over a thousand pounds each. That wasn't their group sales, just personal. And I will talk about those and I mentioned them the other day, but it's also important to mention anybody that has made any kind of sale during any time in this business because it all contributes to our business. It all contributes to our growth. It contributes to our credibility and it just contributes to the brand recognition because the more you sell, the more the brand gets recognized and the more the people realize that it is a brand that can supply them with some of the things that they need. Um, and I've seen lots of posts about that re recently where people were saying, well, it's not clean easy, it's not better wear, I'm not interested. But as time has gone by, more and more people are buying into the concept of the brand. Or actually, more importantly, they're buying into you as distributors. Like I've always said, uh, customers buy into distributors, then they will buy into your products. So, and Ali and Jeff would be, a, all these people are a great example of that that retail just doesn't just happen it happens with effort and determination but most importantly the people the customers on the doorstep are buying into people people buy people it's always been the same in our business or any business like ours in network marketing people by people. Yes, the product does matter and we all know that because they're not just going to buy people and have no product. You know, product does matter, but ultimately people buy people. And that's why you often hear stories of distributors doing the identical areas um, in some cases, sometimes on rare occasions, the identical households where one distributor will get nothing and another distributor will get quite sensational quite huge sales from that area. And that's all down to customer service and that connection. And I talked to Ali and Jeff about that at some length yesterday, some of the things that they do to get their their, 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 their connection with the customer, because that connection makes a massive difference. I know in the past we've used things like retail boosters and all kinds of things, but anything you do, um, even that quick conversation you will have with a customer, um, you know, makes the massive difference in our brand recognition and your recognition at the doorstep and of course then increasing sales. So um, June was good for us. Summer, like I've always said before, does seem to sometimes plateau just before we, you know, explode going towards Christmas. Um, but June was very good for us and I do expect July to be very much the same. Um, and that's all down to the effort everybody's putting in. Now, I've been talking this week about remembering why you started. And I think that's sometimes very important to recall that, especially on those occasions when you feel like giving up. And you know, in any single week, most of us feel like giving up multiple times, but it's then when you have to remember why you started. You know, when I first started in Clean Easy, I joined for six months. 18 years later, I was still there. And I remember why I started. It wasn't the reason I stayed in this, on, on this occasion. I stayed because the business had this incredible set of people within it, and I enjoyed being around those people. Um, that's why I stayed. Why I started at that time was just because I needed to fill a gap in between what I was doing in my career. But I stayed so long because of the people that I met and the people that made a difference to my life. And that predominantly was, of course, in the Clean Easy Network when I first started. So why did Viva MK start? I think that's pretty obvious. You know, following the demise of Clean Easy, you know, I believed in the people that believed in me and that was all about belief. You know, a bunch of people believed 
that we would do something together. And I believed in that. I believed in myself. I believed in the people that believed in me. And following that demise, we created Viva MK because we wanted to create a home for the people that wanted the kind of product we sell. And no, more importantly, the kind of community that we harvest within the business. And that community feel is more important than anything else. The community sense that we harvest in Viva MK is unique, is original, and it really is um, one of our greatest strengths, the way we connect with each other. So yeah, that's why I started, because I believed in the people and I'll always do that. I believed in myself, wanted to find a home for uh, you know what we wanted to do, and that's why Viva MK started. And those reasons, I will never forget, no matter what happens, you know, come what may, I will never ever forget that and you know what I do it a hundred times over and I know there's people listening that would do exactly the same you would do it a hundred times over when you believe in the people that believe in you so much and you believe in yourself so you know it, it's it's been a phenomenal start as you know we've talked about the year-long celebration last week we hit our year mark and I need to keep repeating this because often new people watch and they'll wonder what's he blathering on about so you know we're a year old um, I will always remember why I started and I know many of you will but it's entirely to do with the people that I connected with and the people that I knew from the past and you know I'll never look back on that never regret a single moment it doesn't matter how winding the road is and I've always talked about that long and winding road no amusing comments from you Paul Brown calling me Paul McCartney but that long and winding road is always there in business it was always there and it's how you drive and run around that road that makes a difference. There's always going to be challenges. I've told you that. There's always going to be unseen bends in the road. A uh, story of my life, that is. And there's always going to be roadblocks. Roadblocks, bends, diversions, you name it, it is always going to be there. But every single time, you have to find a way of getting around the bends, getting through the diversions, and circumnavigating your business and your yourself back on track so I will always remember why I started which is the very reason as I've said to you I'll do it a hundred times over because I'll never ever forget that um, you know and you do have to believe in yourself you have to have dogged determination and note I said dogged dogged determination which means you never ever give up no matter what happens you know you have to have a vision somewhere that creates the future dogged determination and a vision of what you want the future to be and above all that bringing that all together is the attitude um, and that ad attitude has to constantly fight adversity and constantly fight the times when you're not feeling so good and you don't want to continue but you must always represent that attitude so dogged determination i must be very careful how i say that dogged determination um a, a vision of what the future is going to look like no matter what you're doing and an attitude to just carry on going no matter what happens and no matter what guys you just just carry on doing what you feel is right and that's why you must always remember why you started I always will so congratulations to the people who have had phenomenal June I think July is going to be very much the same um, even though we're right in the middle of the summer the outdoors catalog has started to perform very very well now in July we'll also give you a back to basics um, as I've told you before which will have an incorporation of a whole number of products I still don't have the exact date for that and I refuse to give out dates because I often then get them wrong and I'll be followed by a hundred emails saying well you said it would be this date and it's not here so I'll just keep you updated on that now of course come the Christmas season like I've said to you the Christmas season will be upon us and I know it's only July the 4th I know it's it's very very warm outside and we're in the middle of summer but you know you use in retail you think about Christmas all year round because it's what makes a difference in business retail at christmas can be extraordinary i found another word it can be extraordinary and sometimes represents 30 percent or a 
above increased on the year's turnover. So in a way, it actually makes the business. Your Christmas retail between September and the end of the year is what makes a business. No matter what kind of retail business you have, it makes the business. And that's why you think about those four months all year long. So having thought about those months all year long, you know, I can delight to give you just a glimpse of what the, the, the catalog is going to look like, the feel of it. Because I know last year we rushed one out because we only had two and a half, three weeks to do it because we'd only, we hadn't started long ago. So we weren't able to think about it all year. This time we've been thinking about it all year, knowing what kind of increases are going to come our way and how it's going to improve and build the business. So the look and the feel of it is going to be very similar. To, it's going to be like that. Of course, don't, um, don't hold me to because it might change slightly, but it's a very fresh, clean look, obviously festive and so on. And it's got some favorites in there, but it wasn't about the products that I wanted to really show you. I've only got two pages, but it wasn't really the products I wanted to show you. I just wanted to show you in these early stages, the look and the feel of the catalog. And the look and the feel will mean that people will hopefully open the book and within that book they'll find a whole bunch of favorites and the kind of things that they really want so obviously we've listened to a lot of your feedback can't listen to all of it we'll always take it on board but some of the suggestions <laughs> will come to that another day and uh, we have listened to your feedback uh, as much as we possibly can and it doesn't matter what your suggestion is don't ever hesitate even I know I mock it sometimes, but it doesn't matter. Keep getting those suggestions in because I know we can't supply everything, um, but some of the recommendations or suggestions are absolutely vital to the team to understand what your customers want and what they're after. I didn't realize my tie was dangling down there. Um, so that's what the look and feel is gonna be like. You know, fresh colors, fresh look, and certainly festive. So really, I know it's only July, and I know in Clean Easy, it was a secret all the way until August because we never used to reveal what the catalog was going to look like. I just felt, you know, we need to keep our momentum and excitement going, knowing that good things are ahead of us. And you know what? There are always good things ahead of us, no matter what happens, one way or another, as a collective of people, we will always make sure that there are good things ahead of us because the most important ingredient is the connection that we make, the connection that we have. Hey, Satwinder Sagu, I've just seen you on there. Happy 40th birthday to you, my friend. <laughs> I know it's not a request you, but you have just popped up on the timeline. So happy birthday. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Clearly not if you're watching me, but nevertheless, have a great day afterwards. So yes, as a collective of people, we can achieve and overcome anything. Don't ever forget that. You know, I know you believe in me and in return, I believe in you, which is exactly the reason why this started. It wasn't the reason I started in Clean Easy, that was to fill a gap in my career. It just so happened I stayed because of the fantastic people that I met, but this was done with real purpose. The reason why we started was real purpose. It was people. It was a belief you had in me and the belief that I have with you in return. And I damn well know with that belief, there is absolutely nothing we can't do, nothing we can't overcome. And like I keep telling you, I would do it all 100 times over. So listen, have a fantastic um, week. And um, thank you for joining me in a brief glimpse of Christmas on July the 4th. Um, but I'll tell you something, it will be one way or another, an absolutely extraordinary, magnanimous and phenomenal Christmas. Thank you for joining me. I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.